to add too that I, I find myself fortunate to have just, we're just wrapping up an MURI on super hydrophobic surfaces for drag reduction. So I got to spend a lot of time with uh, Gareth McKinley and Anish Katija here. So I get I get to deal with some actual material scientists once in a while too. Um, so first of all, thank you very much for spending allowing me to come and um, give you a few remarks at the Bicentennial Symposium. Uh, most of my remarks here are really, um, were captured even much better than I could say by, uh, by Amit's talk. And what I wanted to emphasize in my remarks was the fact that we recognize how interdisciplinary the material science activity is on campus, not just across the College of Engineering, where candidly you can find material science research in almost every single department, but across the university, LSNA, um, the medical school, the, uh, pharmacy, for instance, all kinds of places where there's top light, top flight material science research going on every single day. So, speaking as the associate dean for research, what what do I see is happening that might be of interest to you all as you look forward to the next 200 years here? Well, first of all, as as Ami knows and Sharon knows, we've been starting to have some conversations about better ways of us to organize our materials. Um, research activity in the college and across the campus. I don't think that, um, that MIT is the only place that knows how to organize these things in a, in a coherent and, and, and more productive way. And I think you'll be hearing a little bit more about some of our plans as the fall unfolds. So as, as the leaders in material science research step forward with some new ideas about how we might be able to reorganize and make investments in our material research community across the campus, I stand ready to help them do that and bring forward um, new opportunities. Um, the second thing I just wanted to point out was I'll tell you a little story about why I probably look a little fuzzy this morning. I got back from a trip to Europe last, last week, this weekend, and the last leg of that trip was a visit to Cambridge University. Um, we've exchanged a couple delegations over the past few months um, just to sort of see whether there might be some opportunity for Michigan and Cambridge to, to build some stronger relationships. Um, this, this has been accelerated since the Brexit vote, where the folks in England are, are worried about how they're going to continue to go forward with their research enterprise, especially since even now their ability to attract funding from the EU has been reduced. But nevertheless, we started these conversations before. I went there this uh, last week to talk to them about place, specifically places where we might be able to interact. They had come here a few months ago. And when I spoke to their equivalent to their dean of engineering, what had impressed them the most was their breadth and depth of the research um, and material science going on on this campus. Okay. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things we can work on together, cybersecurity, robotics, smart infrastructure. But it turns out that the, the outcome of these discussions are there's going to be two individuals who are going to sort of be our lead faculty in trying to figure out ways of cooperating further, one of whom is going to be Michael Thallis, who was part of our visit here last week. Um, so hopefully this will be an opportunity for folks at Michigan and folks at Cambridge to find new ways of collaborating together. That's just one, one example of how we try to help facilitate these interactions, not just on campus but across the world. So um, I'm not going to spend too much time. I, I, had, I brought about 100 slides, but it looked like they got <laughs> queued up. So I guess I'm just going to have to wrap it up. Um, but it looks like, just looking at the, at the schedule that you have, uh, the, the agenda that you have here, and the speakers that are lined up, it's a, it's a sort of a star-studded cast. I'm proud to think that so many of these excellent researchers are our colleagues here at the university. And I, I think that you'll all be very, very uh, grateful to hear their remarks. And finally, I just want to say that um, I stand ready to work with all of you as you think about new ways of, of redefining materials research, not just along the lines that Amit mentioned, but just going forward. It seems like the confluence of computing, um, material science, and to some extent manufacturing are all coming together in a way which are going to present tremendous opportunities for us here at the university. So thank you very much, and I hope that you have an excellent symposium.